Are you having a black screen using a V450 motherboard on a Ryzen 3000? Let's fix that right now. What is up guys today? I'm going to show you how I fix my issue with my MSI B450 motherboard with a Ryzen 7 3800X black screen issue. Number one, this one is a quick fix. Actually, if you're building a computer right now and you do not have a graphics card, most likely that you will have a black screen. I'm not sure if you do know, but the Ryzen 3000 doesn't come with an integrated graphics. So if you plug in your HDMI onto the back of your motherboard, you will not see anything. So number one, you must have a dedicated graphics card. Put one into the, to the second port. Make sure you get that click going and as you guys remember this you gotta take this one out from here because the CPU doesn't have an integrated graphics card so you gotta put this back here and turn the power on power on Short the, short the power jumpers. Actually, I was gonna press delete. So we're gonna hop onto the bio. Make sure, so I can show you guys it's actually on the latest one. Voila. Voila. Magic. Yeah. Number two. If you are using a B450 motherboard, the chance is you have to update your BIOS first before you can use a Ryzen 3000 because originally the the B450 are only designed for um, Ryzen 1s and Ryzen 2s. So in this case, you have to update your BIOS first. First off, before you put your BIOS into your USB, you should make your USB a bootable driver. So first step is go to Rufus, download Rufus. Go down here and just up download the latest update. In my case, I just downloaded it earlier. Let me plug in my USB first. And now you should download the latest BIOS on your motherboard. So, since I'm using an MSI motherboard, I'm gonna go to msi.com and go to products, motherboards performance gaming and here you can choose your motherboard in my case I'm using the B450 gaming pro carbon AC so from here go to support and here's your BIOS so I was gonna click download now that we already have our updated BIOS I need to run Rufus On this one, make sure you select the right drive, which in my case is only one, which is this 16 gig USB. And on the boot selection, just put non bootable. So you do not have to select any of this. So keep every settings the same, or you can just copy whatever is on my screen. So MBR, BIOS, or UEFI. Fat32. Oh yeah, on this one I'm using. I use Fat32 when I am updating my BIOS, so might as well use this. But if it didn't work for you, you might want to try to use NTFS. But Fat32 should be alright. So hit start. Yeah, that is empty anyways. Wait for this. Okay. Now it's ready. Now just close this one. Go to your um, to your BIOS, which in my case it's this. Just copy this this file. You might not have the exact same file name as mine because maybe there's an update. But in any case, just copy the file. Control C or right click copy. Go to your 
see look at this it now changed the usb icon to this one because it's already a bootable drive so open it paste it here so once you paste it here just rename this as msi.rom hit yes and you're done so right now just remove your usb stick and we are ready to update your bios now that you already know how to put your bios in your in your usb you might have to do that a couple times because this is the issue the msi motherboard doesn't want a usb 3.0 i've used it on this one which is a 3.0 What's going to happen is that once you plug this one back into the motherboard because this is what I did on this USB so I plug it to the back of my motherboard turn my power supply on and hit that BIOS update button what happened is it's going to blink three times one, two, three and then nothing it will not update at all so it doesn't like a USB 3.0 cross that thing up so now we are left with USB 2.0 and I got two of them I tried I tried it on this one first I did the exact same thing I put the updated BIOS on this and what happened is that when I plug it to the back of my motherboard press that BIOS button it blinks three times one two three then it will show a steady red light you might see that on yours that means the motherboard doesn't actually want your USB so good thing I still have this one more I have another USB 2.0 which is an SP silicon power USB it's a really old USB of mine I did the exact same thing plug it at the back of the motherboard press the BIOS update button and guess what one two three then it keeps on blinking which means it's actually working it was updating and when that is done you just updated your BIOS and you are ready for the Ryzen 3000 now for the third one if you are still having a black screen and you already have a dedicated graphics card and you plug in your HDMI from that to your monitor you already updated your BIOS and still having a black screen one thing you can do is actually to take that small battery out of your motherboard it's a CMOS battery take it out leave it out for about 5 to 15 minutes just to clear the BIOS put it back in press power and hopefully it's gonna give you the screen that you want and you can start playing so that is all for today guys I hope I help some of you hopefully you'll understand how the flashing red light works on your motherboard and you'll know what to do instead of spending another extra hundred dollars for buying an x570 motherboard right save that a hundred dollars for something else all right anyway guys thank you so much i hope you find this helpful if you do please hit that like button or maybe subscribe i'm actually making a mobile legend videos and if you like that stuff hit the notification bell as well thank you peace out